Hello, welcome back to the House of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today I wanted to talk about five things you should avoid if you have a small living room like I do. I know what you're thinking. Her living room doesn't look small, but the truth is that it's actually really small in this space and I've used a few of these tricks that I'm gonna share with you today that are gonna totally help you make your small living room look a lot bigger. So I hope you love the video, hope you'll hit subscribe and let's jump into today's video. All right, so I know what you're thinking. How on earth is this woman's living room actually small? We just pulled out the measuring tape and double checked, and this living room is only 10 by 14. Now, I know it's not the smallest living room in the world, but it is quite small. A lot of times people think that the room is a lot bigger than it actually is, and there's a few things that I've done in this space that really have made it look a lot bigger. The first thing that I did in this space that really transformed it was that I lightened the color of the wall. It sounds like an old trick. And a lot of people ask if does do lighter colors make the room look bigger? Yes, they do. I use dark colors in rooms all the time, but I'm not trying to make them look bigger. I'm trying to make them look cozier. So if you have a small space, I would highly recommend considering painting your space out in a light color. My walls are painted out, this is technically polar bear by bear, but the upstairs landing is in the exact same color, and that's actually Simply White by Benjamin Moore. Either way, going light on the walls definitely makes it look a lot bigger. And I did all of the trim work in the same color. So the windows are in the same color, the baseboards are in the same color, and all the way up to the top of the crown molding, which I'm like, I don't even know if I've taken a picture of that ever, but it does help that I have a two-story family room. That definitely makes this look a lot bigger. But one of the other tricks that I've done with paint is that I've given us a huge focal point here with the black fireplace. It really helped just draw the eye up and really helps the eye no longer be focused on like the center of the room as soon as you walk into it. This is painted in Midnight Oil by Benjamin Moore. And again, I painted out the entire thing, as you can see behind me, painted out the whole thing. And it just immediately gives the eye a vertical that really just pulls your eye up. And it really does help to make the room look a lot bigger. It makes it look a lot taller. Another thing to avoid if you have a small living room like I do is to make sure that you do not downsize the rug too much. That is one of the biggest mistakes that people make in every room of their house. But especially when you have a small living room, it's going to really stick out. Now I have a very odd space. So in the space, I have a walkway that goes this way. I have a walkway that goes this way. And then I have to reserve some sort of walkway to the bedroom over there, right? These are walkways that you have to be able to access the space with. So we can't just ignore them. But when I first moved into the house, I tried out smaller rugs. I did that configuration once with a sectional where the rug was a lot smaller. That was an eight by 10. And the room just felt so much smaller. It just didn't seem like there was a lot going on. Definitely not very interesting to look at in that way. Great furniture, not the layout for the space though, that was really gonna like really utilize the space. So when you think about your rug, whatever you do, do not buy a rug that is too small. You do not want the rug to be smaller. <laughs> so, so you do not want the rug to be so small that none of the furniture legs, the fronts of your sofas or your chairs, that even those don't sit on top of it. Okay. You don't want that. That's way too small. <laughs> Sometimes people will try to put like a four by six, like right underneath the coffee table. And it's just this tiny little thing. It really makes it look like an odd little like island in the center. What I've done is I've actually taken the walkway. I've taken the space that I'm really not supposed to be taken from this room. I'm supposed to be reserving a walkway along those back windows. I had it set up like that for a while. And so that made it to where only an eight by 10 could fit in the center because I needed a way to walk through the room. I cheated. <laughs> I cheated, okay? I cheated. And instead what I did is that I took that space and I added the console table and the sofa in front of it. So we actually have to walk through the room now as our access point. And so I've actually been able to bump the space out just a little bit further. Now, I can already hear you. I can already hear what you're saying. You're like, well, what if I can't move the wall? <laughs> I know, I know. You may not be able to use that trick the way that I have to gain extra space. 
you might want to take out a wall to open up your space a little bit more. That could be an option for you, but you could also think about how, how big of a rug can you get into the space? Go big, go as big as you can. So now I have a 10 by 14 inch rug in here. Yeah, no, nine by 12, nine by 12. That's what I have. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered it a while ago, okay? Found it on Amazon. I'll leave a link for you guys down below. It's amazing. But it really extended the space. It made it look huge. So it, it did make a big difference and I think upsizing your rug will make a huge difference. We've got a bonus tip today coming from our video sponsor, which is Towel Clean. I absolutely love this brand. They've got amazing products. I have their toothbrush. I have their facial cleansing system. This is the Diamond Facial Cleansing System. It is amazing. One of the reasons that I was drawn to this brand in the first place was first of all, the promise of killing 99.9% .9 of germs. That was something that definitely drew my attention. It's got this really cool system where this uh, facial cleanser sits down in the base. You can see how it actually hangs inside of it and that actually makes it to where there's less bacteria. But the thing that I love the most about this is that it looks really pretty sitting out. One of the biggest problems when you have a small space is that you don't have room to store everything put away you end up having to store some things out in plain sight. So I say all the time, my favorite thing to do is to store in plain sight because your <laughs> items are also acting as decor and they look amazing and you don't feel the need to put them away. I absolutely love it. It's so easy to use. You literally just pull it right out of the base that I have it in the bathroom and just a single tap of the button and off you go. It's got different uh, levels of strength that you can use. Also, you've got different brushes, so you can exfoliate, you can have the sensitive skin brush, you can have, there's four different ones just here. And it's for your face, it's for your body, absolutely amazing. I also love the fact that once you return it to the base, you'll see the blue light lighting up and they're using light and the air around it to kill all the bacteria because a lot of times, yeah, well, we won't talk about what happens when it doesn't have those features, it's not good, okay? We want your skin to be healthy. We want the tools that you use on your face to be clean. And it really has made such a difference with my skin. I'm amazed by this product. Of course, as we get older, we start to lose the collagen in our skin. We get wrinkles and everything else. And you know, this is something so simple and easy that I can just use my daily cleanser with and it really just gets my face nice and clean and it foams up my cleanser really nicely and I just absolutely love it. So use my code Valentina and that'll get you 62% off of all devices. So I recommend the facial cleansing system, but also check out their toothbrushes as well. This is a key when you're trying to save space in your home is storing in plain sight. You will love this, whether it's for the living Living room or the bathroom. And I'm going to leave all the links for you for towel clean down below in the show notes. Another big tip that I've used is that I have minimized the clutter in my space and that's never a very popular point. However, <laughs> if you've got a small living room like I do, filling it up with a lot of little things will make the space feel a lot smaller. So what I see a lot of times is that people try to put a lot of little things up on the walls. They want, they've got pictures and things that they've owned for a long time, something sentimental. And so they put lots of pictures up on the wall. It's a lot of little things. It doesn't have to only be your decorations and like your lamps and your books. It's not just that, it's everything. So what I've done in this space is that I have tried my best to, I've got one big mirror and the items on the fireplace are fairly minimal there. One big mirror rather than lots of things going on. Uh, this room is a little bit odd, I will admit, because there aren't a lot of walls. <laughs> It is a little strange to not have very many walls, but even on the back wall, I put big bookcases and minimize the items in it. When you see the, the coffee tables and the console tables, I've minimized how many items there are. I've upsized them and I've minimized them. Trying to put a whole bunch of little things into a space it just clutters your view and it will immediately make the space feel way smaller. It is a trick. I am telling you it is a trick. Bonus trick is using the mirrors to also create more light. That does actually seriously work. It just 
creates and it actually makes the space look bigger. So you could use mirrors over the fireplace. You could use them uh, flanking the fireplace. You can use them on the wall. I've got one, that one more is just there because yeah, I do selfies and <laughs> check myself in it before I walk out the door. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the best design element in the space, but it does actually help to expand the room. And I think it makes a big difference to declutter and not have so many little things in the space. It will definitely make your small living room look a lot bigger. Another huge mistake that people make all the time is that they try to go with really little furniture. <laughs> They think the living room is really small, so instead of a full-size sofa, I'm gonna put a love seat in. Instead of a full-size chair, I'm gonna put tiny little chairs. She says that with tiny chairs in her space. I will explain where I'm going with that in just a second, but a lot of times people think that they need to downsize the furniture because the room is so small, it's actually not the best thing to do. What you really need to do is try to use as much of the space as you can while still reserving the walkways. Yeah, we'll get to the bigger furniture in just a second because that's a problem too. You don't want it to be too big. That's not good either. But what I've done is I've taken two low profile sofas that help the ceiling to feel a lot taller and I've, it, I've used as much of the length of the room as I possibly can. I've got some little side tables here that fit and I don't need a whole lot else in the room and it really just fills the length of the room. I do have two smaller chairs in the space because that is all I can fit. I can't fit two big <laughs> armchairs in here. When we first moved in this house, I had more like oversized furniture. I don't even know if I have a picture of it. I had a big recliner chair with really high profile um, backs on it. And it just overpowered the space. It made the space look this big. So. Don't make the mistake of also going too big on your furniture where not only is it wide, it's deep, and it's high. I think that the key here is to go as low profile as you can handle. <laughs> I know, I can hear my mom saying, I won't be able to get up from that. <laughs> she can get up and down from my sofa, okay? It's not on the floor, but a lower profile sofa, lower profile chairs, that helps the ceilings feel taller. Using the length that you've got, you don't want it, you know, literally like into the kitchen. You don't want it to be too long, right? But using as much of the space as you possibly can will definitely help you make the space feel a lot bigger. It, it seems counterintuitive. I know it does. Same with the coffee table. Uh, right now I've got one that I just got in that's brand new. I don't even know if I've got very many photos of it yet. Normally we have two marble tables in here and I use two of them instead of just one. I really tried to upsize the furniture and that makes the space look huge. I think having a lack of focal point is a really big problem because what happens a lot of times when you have a small space is that you get frustrated. You don't quite know how to get the furniture in. You're trying to work the configuration and what happens is a lot of times you're using something that you've already had or something that was given to you and I get it. We've definitely done that ourselves when we first moved into this house. We had nothing. <laughs> we had like one chair. I think we had one chair one big leather chair and I think that's, we didn't even have a sofa. Yeah, we didn't even have a sofa when we moved here. So I get it. Sometimes it's just a work in progress. Don't fret, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect in the first day. Half the fun of creating your home is watching it develop over time. So do not stress if you can't do it all in one day. But what does happen is that a lot of times people have either different colored sofas or they have mismatched chairs or they have a cabinet that they've tried to get into the room because somebody gave it to them. And you, you might end up with a hodgepodge of furniture and you haven't created a focal point in the room. A lot of people want it to be the fireplace and sometimes you'll either lose the battle with a spouse or <laughs> partner and you know not have the TV over the fireplace. But what happens is if you put the TV not over the fireplace, you've put it next to it and it's a big black box sitting next to the fireplace. So what you need to do is actually convince your uh, other person that you need a Samsung frame TV. <laughs> Put that over the fireplace. That way you have your TV centered over your fireplace and you've created a focal point, whether it's a stack stone, if it's just like mine and it's just, you know, it's sheetrock, whatever it is, even if you don't have the high ceiling, just a focal point. 
You can paint the fireplace out in a different color, stack stone, brick, all these materials are really great for drawing the eye in to the fireplace because I don't know about you, but I don't use the TV as the focal point of the room, but the fireplace I do. That's the place where you're really gathering. It's the point of the room. And if you don't have a piece like that, maybe you're in a, maybe you have a living room, maybe you're in a condo or an apartment and you don't have a fireplace, you need to create a focal point so that when you walk into the space, you see what you're supposed to be looking at. So that might be a tall cabinet that hides the TV. It could be the TV with a great cabinet underneath. Go ahead and create the focal point of the space, or you could just go for art or a big mirror. Lots of different ways to create a focal point, but it will help your space to feel a lot bigger because a lot of times if you just don't have something to look at, the room just feels kind of cluttered and kind of small and messy, and it starts to, you're not seeing as much space is actually there. And so your eye reads the room as smaller. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got tons of inspiration. Make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on upcoming content. We're gonna be talking more about what to do when you have small spaces. Leave me notes down below that let me know what small spaces you are battling and even the dimensions of them so I'm able to answer your questions in the coming days. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.